For young women all over the Muslim world who love sports, this may be the field of dreams. Still learning football basics one year ago, Azerbaijan's women's under-17 squad has been transformed into a determined team of high achievers. Every day we are practicing and getting ready for the World Cup. We believe in ourselves. We believe we can do it. We will raise the name of Azerbaijan. FIFA officials were in Baku to inspect some of the stadiums still under construction for the kickoff of the under-17 Women's World Cup. Five or six of these stadiums, all capable of seating at least 16,000 fans, must be ready by next September. The consensus? Azerbaijan's LOC, or Local Organizing Committee, is well on track. For us, for FIFA, it's a pleasure to work uh, with the LOC in Azerbaijan because uh, when you see how much uh, motivation, dedication, enthusiasm they have for this event, it's, it's a pleasure to see. And the FIFA team, it's really behind it and try to help them as much as possible. Of course, it isn't about a single tournament. FIFA and Azerbaijan's own football federation are just as concerned about the legacy that will build the sport here. It is about the future. It's about to have the legacy in the future for the whole the country, for girls, for men, for boys, and for the uh, society in general. FIFA had very clear intentions when it awarded the 2012 Under-17 Women's World Cup to Azerbaijan, an Islamic country. And these young women who come from all over Azerbaijan know that they, in particular, have something to prove. It is true that there are few Muslim countries with girls soccer, and it is a first, a great chance given to us, and we have to be proud of this fact. We are hoping that other Muslim countries will follow us down the road. Therefore, we have to train and perform so that we can inspire others. These young women, more than anyone else, seem aware of the role they are playing. They're sacrificing time away from their families and a tough schedule as they maintain their studies. I visited, I had the chance to visit them, and they are so exciting and already nervous uh, to play such a great event in their own country. And for every sportsman, it's, it's, it's the best what can happen to be involved in a World Cup in your own country. The notion that football is only for boys isn't even a consideration on this field. It is the wrong idea. It is impossible. If soccer is a sport, then anyone can play it. And I think girls can play soccer too. Whoever has the skills and desire can do it. There may not be girls' soccer in most Muslim countries, but we are here to take the first steps. And what a first step. 18 teams from around the world, millions of fans watching here and on global television, and a chance to literally help change the world of sport.